Hello. Hi, this is uh, Steve Dave from Royco's Tree Service and Lawn and Grass. And I needed to let you know we accidentally uh, sprayed your lawn earlier today. Uh huh. It's uh, it's uh, genetically modified um, DNA stuff that we spray onto the grass. It's it's not a big deal or anything. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I don't understand. Uh, we, we meant to spray a house down the street from you, but uh, some of the numbers got transposed, so we accidentally did your lawn instead. Okay. <laughs> what so, does that mean? Uh, it just means um, you're, it, it's this genetically modified stuff. It's going to change your grass and make it blue. And it, my grass in the backyard? Yeah, well, in the, the entire yard. We did the entire lawn, and it's going to slowly turn from green into blue. And it's also not going to grow as fast anymore, so you won't have to mow it as much. Okay. Um, you, and your name again and your company? Uh, my name is Steve Dave. I'm with Royco Tree Service and Lawn and Grass. And it's, it's just this, uh, it's, uh, it's like GMO crops, you know, but this is for lawns and it's going to turn all of your blades of grass blue. And your name again is, I'm sorry, because you're, you're kind of breaking up. Oh, Steve Dave. Okay, now uh, I just had that lawn put in Uh huh This year Oh, well, you're welcome I mean, now you won't have to mow it as much Well, I'm going to check with my landscaper Uh Uh-huh And I may have you replace it Oh, no, no, it's fine It's going to be the same grass It's just going to grow slower And it's going to be And it's going to be But it's going to turn blue Yeah, it's going to be more blue than green But you know what? Now you won't be such a poser. You'll you'll have a different color of lawn. And if you ever want to use our services, we can change it to a different color. This is like a new thing we're offering. So, I mean, you're probably going to want this eventually anyway, because everyone else is going to get it. So who whose house were you supposed to do? Oh, some other guy. We're not allowed to give out customer information, but it was just a, a few blocks up. Here on the okay, same street. Okay, and you did the street. front and the back? Yeah, the entire lawn, it's going to turn blue. Okay, I think you've got the wrong number because I don't have a lawn in the front. Well, it would have been the entire lawn. I didn't go there myself. It was my employees, but we did two zero. And you did that today? Uh, yeah, earlier today. Nobody's been in my house, at my house. No, it's, it's early. Like, it's still dark out. And they came into my yard? Yeah, well, it's a special uh, type of chemical. It, it needs to be applied at, and when the sun's not out yet. So it cures properly? Okay, because we're up at 5 a.m. and I didn't hear anybody in the backyard. Oh, no, it was before that. It would have been more like... Before the... 5? Yep. Okay. So, yeah, so... Uh-huh. So, yeah, not, not a big deal. It's just going to be a, more of a shade of blue than green. And you can tell your landscaper to, to maybe only come once a month instead of twice or whatever. Okay. Because um, it's going to and... grow slow. You, you won't want to go barefoot out there, though. Okay. Um, well, no, it's not, yeah. it's not dangerous. Uh, it's not dangerous. It's just there's going to be these little uh, tiny... Um, the best way to describe them is like little stalks of corn on the blades of grass. And they're, they're okay. not... They're, they don't hurt anything. It's just uh, they might hurt your feet a little bit if you step on them. Okay, because I have grandchildren that come out here. Oh yeah, they'll be fine. It's not like uh, it's not like getting a thorn or something in your foot. It just it's like stepping on a Lego. There's these tiny little stalks of corn on each blade of grass. I don't even see anything on the lawn. Yeah, it's well for now. It's invisible. It's 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 uh you know it's modifying the DNA and and in a few days you're gonna start to notice it turn like a shade of blue. And, and this okay. one is supposed to be a very deep blue when it's all finished. It's it's going to be completely blue, like like the primary color. And this is not a prank call. Oh no, of course not, ma'am. It's it's it sounds a little odd. Oh no, we do we do lawns here in the neighborhood all the time. It's just a new service we offer this whole genetically modified lawn thing, because okay. people are starting to get custom colored lawns, and they also grow. A and little what happens slower. if I don't want a blue lawn? Um, then I'd say you're kind of an idiot because everyone has a green lawn. So why not? No, have don't. Uh, okay, it's my lawn. Don't call me an idiot. Well, I mean, like <laughs> everybody has a green lawn. Why would you want something, anything? Because I paid for a green lawn. I know, but that's that's before you knew that blue existed. The, yeah, but what if I don't want a green lawn? Then I, I don't know. What's your problem then? 
Like, who wouldn't want a blue lawn or a red lawn? My husband, probably not, because he's a very traditionalist. Okay, but does he control you? Uh, no. Okay, but well, tell him, it's a, tell it's him, a shared, look it's here. It's a shared home, and we both stare at it. You stare at your lawn? That's a little weird. You're so saying I'm weird. You're the one staring so will at your it go lawn. Away? Will it? Will it what? Will the blue go away at some point? Oh no! Actually, um, it'll it'll start to uh, slowly um, go into the neighbor's yard eventually, and, and th- so you have to you have to kind of keep it cut there on the edges to to make sure it doesn't spill over into the neighbor's yard because it, it kind of takes over. It it's like modifies I, I'm the sorry, DNA. I'm losing you. You're breaking up. Oh, I'm sorry. It, it modifies the DNA of the the grass around it, so it's going to start seeping into the neighbor's lawn eventually. But it's cool because they'll probably get something different too. <laughs> okay, so if I want my lawn back to where it was, yep. who do I call? Uh, oh, you can call us. It's uh, it's a pretty simple process. It's uh, four hundred ninety nine dollars right now. No, 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 no. That was your mistake. You pay for that. Oh no, I think the person that got their lawn done they wrote down the wrong number. They transposed some digits. Yeah, so that's not my problem. I'm not paying five hundred dollars for you to fix something that you guys did. Well, it's we didn't do it. I mean, it was the, their their fault. They put the wrong address on. I, I'm sorry. It's I don't care. It's not my. Well, you should be sorry. It's, trying it's to your, scam me out of a lawn, a free lawn job. On you, if it when it turns blue and I say, okay, I don't want it. We've had this conversation. Yep, and I'll be like, oh yeah, you're the one that's a fucking idiot and doesn't want a blue lawn. I mean, and can I everybody your, has your number green. again. My phone number is on your caller ID. You, you never asked for it before. What do you mean again? I'm asking for it now. Oh, okay. You said again, almost as if you're trying to trick me or something into your number, making me think that I gave you the number before. So why wouldn't I give it to you again? Um, so can I please, can you please give it to me? Uh, sure. Well, I mean, it'd be easier just to look on your phone. It's right there. I didn't block my number or anything. See, and you, see, you work for Royco Tree Service? Yes. Okay. We're like the only ones in this town currently offering the DNA modification stuff. But it, it like pretty soon everyone's going to offer it, you know? It's going to be the new thing. It's going to be about as and stupid as having grass in the first place, to be honest. If I don't honest. want it. Yeah, if you, if you don't want it, you're a fucking idiot. But that's just my okay. opinion. That's not, you know, it's... Well, and you don't, don't have to swear at me. I'm and not I don't swearing at you. That. I'm not swearing at you. I'm just giving my opinion. Your opinion is swearing at me and telling me that I'm a fucking idiot. I wasn't swearing at you. It was just a general comment about you. Well, I don't. I don't let my husband use that word, and my children use that word. So I, I appreciate it if you don't either. So you don't let your husband do things. So you can. You can. I don't con- let him say that in front of me. You can control. Like you can it. control what he says, but you can't control what color color the grass is. We have a, a mutual relationship. Is that why you control how he talks? I ask him not to. Oh. I, I tell him, I don't oh. appreciate it. Please don't talk to me that way. Because before you said let, you don't let him do that. Wait, so he's talked to you that way before? He, he yells? He uses the word. He yells the, the F word say, at you? Please don't use that word. I don't like it. What is he yelling now, at you? Now, we're on topic, so let's get back on topic. If I don't want this blue lawn... You're fucking stupid. And I'm an idiot for not wanting a blue lawn A fucking idiot. Yard. A fucking idiot. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Can I, I... I will call my attorney. No, come on. And have you replace it. We don't need to go there. I will go there because at this point, you're not, you're not working with me. You're working against me. I'm trying to, but you, you keep cursing. I'm cursing? Oh, wait, no. Okay. <laughs> That was me. Sorry. <sighs> I get confused around and this time of day. And you know, I asked you for your number. You said it's on my caller ID. You won't repeat it. Because it is. It's right there. Why should I repeat it? You're wasting everyone's time. Like, just look okay, at your I'm, damn phone, I'm, I'm lady. I'm terminating this call. I will call Royco Services, talk to the, vi- uh, the president of the company. Oh, go Let ahead. him know that my house was done by mistake. Me and him are friends. I'm not spending $500 to redo it. I want either them to come back and redo it, fix it, or I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to file a small claim for Okay, well, go ahead, because our families have barbecues together, you know, me and the... Great, I'm glad, you're buddies. Yeah, we are. That's good. So, yeah, you, That's can, good. you, you can't well, do shit, Well, it was your lady. mistake, not mine. You crossed it, you trespassed it, trespassed my property yep. in the middle of the night. Yep. 
and, and you and, cause damage. And you're getting bent out of shape because you're a fucking idiot and don't like bluegrass. No, I'm just going to call my my son-in-law who works for the county sheriff's department and let him know that we've had trespassing. Of course you overnight. have. A- it and, wasn't trespassing. Um, we had a contract. It was it's signed It's trespassing contract. because you did not have my permission to enter the property. Well, you have to take that up with your neighbor. Pardon? You have to take that up with your neighbor. They put the wrong address on the form. It wasn't our fault. Uh, I'm think. sorry. It's You trespassed on my property without my permission. Well, you didn't catch us. In the us. middle of the night. You didn't catch put us. Put something in my lawn. Something I'm awesome. I'm going to file a report with the county something sheriff's awesome. department. We, we didn't put anything in your lawn. We just modified the DNA of your grass. You said you did. Yeah, yeah, but we didn't put anything in your lawn. It's just we just modified the DNA of your grass. You well, you put something in my lawn to modify the oh no the, no the lawn. It, it's not a chemical. It's more like it's radiation that we're beaming at the grass. I don't and care. You came into my yard. It, you did something in my yard without my permission. You trespassed. Yeah, but we didn't put anything in your grass. No, we yeah, changed, you just said yeah. We did. No, we changed so the mo- molecular you composition. I'm of, calling the police. I'm going to let them know. I'm going to file a report right now. <laughs> he's a he's a. Sergeant with the with the burglary homicide division. Well, that sounds like this is th- this is not his department. Then you're wasting his time. It is. It's it's are, considered trespassing. Are you going to tell him that you're you're an yes. idiot and you don't like bluegrass? He, he's going to be like this entire conversation. And I'm going to file a police report. I don't give you permission to repeat the conversation. <laughs> Too bad. I it's you, not attorney client privileged. You better not. I, I'm an attorney on the side, so you can't say shit. You did not. Cl- you did not disclose that. Well, I'm initially. disclosing and it I'm now. I'm going to tell him that about this conversation. That somebody came into our yard, radiated my lawn with some GMO thing that I did not get permission to in the middle of the night. Yeah, well, it's your neighbor's fault. It's not ours. No, I don't care whose fault it is. My brother-in-law's you know, a judge. I did not and he'll give you permission. <laughs> my brother-in-law's a judge, and and he'll, he'll, Good. he'll probably he'll, knows my son-in-law. He did, he did bail duty for a he'll, while. He'll rule in my favor. So take that. It might not even be in his court, so he won't rule in your favor, so don't go there. Oh, I know people. I'll get it moved to his court. Oh, good. You're good. I'm glad you know people. So do I. Yeah, I know more people than you. Normal people. Use telephones to call people. They don't upset them. Get a life phone, loser. We've been trying to call you, and your name is Lloyd. What is your last name? It's Alizure Bell. Oh, my God. It's Alizure Bell. It's Alizure Bell. So I'm being right called on the telephone. Yeah, just write that. You know what? I think you better take uh, a pill and smoke another funny cigarette and shove it up your ass. Don't you ever call this number again. I know that the phone's not a toy. I just got a call from a Roy. The number shows up and it's spoofed. Says he's at my house replacing my roof. Man, this guy's a jerk for this. I just rushed home, left work for this. No one's at my house on my roof. This Roy guy, what a goof. We just made a non sweet pool, and the landlord says, not nah, cool. Not on the lease, my name's Roy Chevelle, unit 203. I'm a tenant from hell. There's a tunnel system attached. We found a secret hatch. Don't get smart with me, and I'm tight. This is now an archaeological dig site. Thanks, Brandon, for that intro song. Hey, everybody, you're listening to the Snowplow Show. 
for October 21st, 2019. This one is brought to you by Dirty Syringe JT, high school graduate Chris J, and the Real Crazy Kraz. Thanks all of you for supporting the show and supporting the PLA and helping keep the shows going. This is pretty much all I do these days to make money is shows. So if you guys stop supporting this, I'm totally fucked. Don't do that. For just $5 a month, you get an extra show every single week. It's called The Hobo Sode. I did a pretty good one last week. It happened on Thursday, and I spent about a half hour telling people to stop being motherfuckers. Here's a small clip from one of the calls from that show. Okay. And you keep repeating it. Well, no, I'm just trying to, to make you understand that we have a strict no motherfucker policy. I understood, you when, I understood when you said it the first time. Did you hear me? And I was thinking, okay. Okay, but you're I don't know what I said, but I'll, but I'll, I'll clean it up. But you know what? Fuck you, man. Fuck your fucking station, you cocksucker. I don't know what his problem was, but if you want to hear that entire call and a bunch of others very similar to it, then you should listen to the hobo sodes. You can find those on patreon.com slash phone losers or phone losers.com slash support. A lot of the calls on Thursday's hobo sode ended very similarly. They just cursed at me and hung up just for enforcing the no motherfucker policy. We had a brand new PLA meetup this past weekend. It was a lot of fun. Mr. Biggs was there. King Richard was there. Devin was there. We all hung out a bunch over the weekend and went to a bunch of thrift shops and vintage shops and ground control in Portland. The meetup was at the Retro Gaming Convention, and I forget exactly how many people showed up. I think there was like maybe eight people besides us four, and I had everyone sign a guest book, except two people didn't sign it. I completely forgot about it when they were there, but most people signed it. It looks like we had Ethan, we had Savannah, Eileen, uh, Juan? Does this say Juan? He write really small. Uh, Wolfleton was there. He put his phone number in this thing. And Fetus and Chamburglar, thanks everybody for showing up to the meetup. It wasn't very organized. Uh, we just kind of sat at a table for a little while, for maybe a couple hours. And then we went around and looked at vendors and played video games and stuff. And then we went and sat at a table for a little bit longer. Didn't even tell anyone that time, but someone still showed up. Some, you know, new people. I think that was Fetus and Chamburglar. So yeah, that was awesome. That was a lot of fun. King Richard gave me a hardcover copy of the corporate office comic book which just looks amazing i'm trying to convince him to make copies of this and sell it because it is just really cool i think everyone should have this it's the same comic that you can find on olga's patreon at patreon.com slash olga draws dragons so hopefully that will be available one of these days thanks richard and olga for giving me this book it's pretty great Hopefully we'll do another meetup next year in Portland, maybe at the Retro Gaming Convention again, since that seems to happen every single year. Or maybe we'll take over Comic-Con, I don't know. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh yeah, Carlito News. It's not the greatest news, it's kind of a bummer. I don't really want to get into it here because, god damn it, this is supposed to be a comedy show. But I'm pretty bummed about this whole Carlito thing. If you want to read about that, I will have a link to it in the show notes. But basically, he's not going to be doing a show anymore, or he doesn't think he's going to be doing a show anymore. I bet you he'll come back, though. He always comes back eventually. You can't keep Carlito down. So please check out the show notes. Go see what's happening with Carlito and the Madhouse Live show. I think it's about time for us to do some calls. So let's get started with that. But first, here's a song by Henry. Now you're saying that you're going to take, uh, that you have already taken money from my wife's our account? It's the darndest thing. So usually, I, I am sorry, I'm a little uncomfortable doing that because usually these things, I used to use manager, come from our DM. It's the darndest thing. I've never even had anyone talk to me like you are right now. My building, nothing gets done there without communicating with me. It's the darndest thing.
I got a list of numbers yesterday from Job. It's a clipboard that he took a picture of, and there's a list on it from Chipotle, which says now hiring. And it says, please print your name, print your phone number. And he says, I took this picture today. And it looks like at least a couple of numbers are probably just completely fake. Like one of them is like 258 love. Like instead of the last four digits, their phone number is love. Maybe it's real. I don't know. And then the one right below that is something, something, something help. H-E-L-P. Stupid motherfuckers messing with the list. But anyway, I'm going to call these numbers and see if any of these motherfuckers will pick up. Hello. Hello, Brenda. Brenda, hello. Hello. Hi, Brenda. Yes. Hey. Yes. This This is Steve Dave. I'm from the Chipotle. Yes. And um, we noticed you filled out this thing, uh, you know, this now hiring list. Yes. But you seem like kind of a motherfucker. (laughs) And we have this strict policy against uh, hiring motherfuckers. (laughs) Okay. So um, I just felt like I should call and tell you that, you know, we just we can't hire motherfuckers. So that's funny because I'm already hired. Well, that's the thing. <laughs> they wanted me to tell you that you're not welcome here anymore because you're a motherfucker. <laughs> Who is this? Uh, my name is Steve Dave. I, I work at the Chipotle. I work Which in, one? Uh, the one that you're hired at. <laughs> Durr. <laughs> you do have to play on my phone today, huh? No, I'm not playing it. It's just it's just a policy here. It's a very strict policy. Who else, who else did you call? Uh, just you. I mean, you're the only motherfucker that we <laughs> hired. And it's, you know, we're. I'm sorry, but we're going to have to let you go. You are hilarious. No, oh, my God. You didn't disclose you that you were. A, my day. You didn't disclose that you were a motherfucker <laughs> on your application here. How do you know that? Because there was a box and you did, you checked it. You certified <laughs> I that know, you're but not how a. How do you know? How do you know that I'm one of the <laughs> Oh no, we can just tell. We we um, you know after how working you tell? after working with you, it's uh pretty oh, really? pretty obvious. You didn't even know that I worked there. Oh no, I did. I did. I was testing you. I was gonna see if you're gonna be a motherfucker about it. Oh really? Okay. Who's that? I'm on set. Thank you. What are you doing? Where are you at? Hello. What's happening? Why? What, where, where were you? What, I mean, what are you... Where, Why? I'm just making conversation. Where are you at? I'm here at the Chipotle. What time you get off? I just left. Oh, I, I, I probably won't see you. I work in the basement. <laughs> what? Anyway, I got to get going. You know, I, I've yes. got other things to do here. I can't just talk to you all day on yes. the phone. I'm sure. Okay, thank you. Yes. Goodbye. Especially you being a motherfucker and all. <laughs> bye. All right, bye, Brenda. Well, she was untrollable, and that's the first one I can get to pick up. I'm sure I'm going to delete the other ones, but one of the numbers spelled the word help. That wasn't a real number. Another number spelled the word love. They just keep picking up and hanging up. Another one's not answering. So I've only got two left here on this list. Please leave your message for two, four. And that person's hitting the fuck you button. What a motherfucker. Wow, she just picks up and hangs up on me. All right, I'm going to move on to the next person on the list. That person is definitely not getting hired. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice. And the last person is not picking up either. So I guess I'm done with this list. We only got to talk to Brenda and Brenda is just tee hee hee hee. You're so funny. So next, I've got a list here. It's from a person who wishes to remain anonymous because they don't want to get kicked out of their local gym. It's yet another picture of a clipboard with phone numbers on it. And this appears to be the basketball sign-out sheet at his gym. So I guess I'll see if these people pick up. Hello. Hello. uh, This is Kevin over at the gym. Um, You checked out a basketball from us the other day. Uh, that was, no, that was like, well, it was on the 7th, like that? yeah, it was on the 17th, that's the other day. Yeah. And, uh, looks like you had basketball number one. One, yeah, and I turned it back in, too. 
Yeah. Oh no, I know you did. It's just um, we we uh we got some reports and we checked the security footage and we noticed that you uh you kept standing on the basketball and rolling around on it, like walking around. Oh on... no, that wasn't me. Oh that no, wasn't me, buddy. that that was definitely you. No, we saw it on the security oh, cameras. Like, and <laughs> I mean, it's nice that you have Hold such up, stand, stand. good good balance and everything. I'm sorry. What? Go ahead. You said you said standing on the basketball and rolling on it. Yeah, like a like a circus bear or something. Nah, that wasn't me. You no, you were rolling all over the gym. You're like weaving in and out of all the other people and stuff. And and you got me confused, sir. Sorry about being that. Being generally disruptive, you're you're kind of being a motherfucker, to be honest. Okay. So and, what you want to do about it? Well, it's just um, you know we have a strict policy against that. You can't you can't do that, and that's you know that's not good for the ball. You're being disruptive, and okay. you're, you're just being a motherfucker. So, uh, again, again, you're a motherfucker too. What you gonna do about it? Huh? Oh no, no, no don't call you, me you a want, motherfucker. You want, you want me to come up? You want me to come up there and whip your ass? No, you, I can. No, you're not allowed to do that. That's against the rules. You can't just oh, come in here and oh, start fights oh, for no reason. Oh, but you, you, but you can call me a motherfucker. Huh? Well, no, I like I'm, that. I'm not trying to name call or anything. I'm just saying that you were being a motherfucker. Okay, I am a motherfucker. So what? Okay. What you well, gonna do about it? You're not allowed to be a motherfucker while you're here at the gym, because uh, you know you there's. Gonna a, re- you're gonna revoke. You're gonna revoke my membership. Well, we might have to, because you, you signed a paper and said you, you know, you promised not to be a motherfucker. Okay. Okay. Well, revoke so, my membership then. I don't give a fuck. No, and no, fuck I, I don't want to do that. I'm just, I'm just saying, like, oh, when you come oh, back in the future. Oh, oh but you don't want to do that. Can you please but, just but, not be a motherfucker? Okay, I can be a motherfucker all I want. No, can you stop sucking dick on your days off. How about that? Well, that, that's no, that's none of your business, okay? Uh, oh yeah, I know, I know it is. You like to take it up the ass too. I heard about you. Yeah, but that it's nothing yeah, wrong with that. It's it's, like take it up it's, the ass it's 2019. And then suck it's all the clean shit off the it's, gate. It's okay uh, to be like gay. That? It's okay to be gay. It's 2019. Uh, but but it, that's your preference. You're right. Okay. Yeah, but and it's okay I know you to be a mother. That's my preference. Well, well no, I can't do it at work though. They won't let me suck dick at work. Don't you understand that? I'm not allowed to. Or you need to find a job that's uh, equal rights for everyone. Okay, well maybe you need that? to f- you need to find a gym that'll let you be a oh. motherfucker all you want. Okay, cool. Thank you for appreciating. Thank you, you for day, thank right? you for appreciating it. Is that what you said? Hello. Hey there. Uh, th- this is Steve Day from the gym. Uh, you checked you checked out a basketball from us the other day. Yeah. And we know yesterday. Th- Hold on. Yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday. Uh, what's today? Oh no, I said the other I mean, day, not yesterday. The other day. Okay, I'm like, yeah, number number three was the last one I uh, checked out. Yeah, how'd you know that? How'd you know you checked out three? That's weird. Are you like Rain Man or something? Because because, well, no, I just re- I, I remember numbers, and I also remember dropping it off, and they said it was okay. Oh, okay. Everything well, no, we we so, thought it was okay, but we noticed that um you uh you replaced the ball with a 3D printed ball. Huh? <laughs> what? Like the the ball that you gave us back. Like you kept the real ball apparently, and you, you gave us back a three D printed ball. Is this a joke? No, I wouldn't joke about this. We we just oh um, excuse me. Like I I know it's said, basically the same thing, and it's almost just as good, but it it affects performance when you give us back a three D printed ball. I don't know, sir. Uh, what is your, what is your who's your what's your name? Uh, my name is Steve Dave. Steve Dave? Correct, yeah. And, 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 and you're from 24 Hour Fitness, right? Yes. Uh, I'm writing this down. Okay, yeah. We just, like, do you think you could bring it back next time you're in here? It's no big deal. You're not in trouble. Just, we'll, we'll give you back the, We'll give Wait. you back the 3D printed no. ball. Let, no, trust me. Trust me. I have not replaced a ball with a 3D printed well, ball. It's... I don't even know anything about that. Trust me. I don't even have a 3D printer. I don't have access to any of this stuff. Yeah, you think it'd be I, I guarantee you. more expensive to, you know, to give us a 3D printed ball. Like, you, you didn't get a All very right. good deal stealing you, this basketball like that. All right, first of all, if, if if you are a professional, that's not the way you talk to a client. I'm not 100% sure that you are who you are. Right, well, um, but I mean, you're days, you're stealing um, things. You're, you're, fitness. You're, you're tricking us into okay. taking back things that aren't even real. And that's not cool. No. I, I, I'll, I'll come up there and explain it and, and talk to you about it. I don't have a 3D printer, a 3D printed ball, or a basketball. Why would I take a basketball? I don't know why you would do that. And like, I, I know you don't have a 3D printed ball because you gave it to us. Sir, 
No, I do not. No, that 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 is not me. That's not even my morality. That's not what I believe in. Okay, so I mean, don't disrespect me anymore over the phone. No, I'm not trying to disrespect you. I'm just saying you're being kind of a motherfucker doing something like that. Oh yeah, you cursing too? Yeah, you're not professional enough to talk to me. No, Sorry. I'm not cursing. I, I'm just saying that. There he goes. All right, I've got one left on here that is not picked up on the gym list. Hello. Hello, Larry. Yes, who is this? This is Steve Dave from the gym. Uh, you checked out a basketball from us a couple days ago. Yeah, number one. I oh. gave it back. Oh yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, wow, you remember the number and everything. That's weird. Um, yeah, we just, you know, we we noticed that you played a little prank on us, and and you filled up the basketball with water. You let let out all the air and filled it up with water. And um, can you please uh, no. not? Can you please not do that in the future? I did what? You you uh you let all the air out of the basketball and then you filled it up with water? No, I did not do that. Oh no, you did. It's it's fine. We know that you did it. Um just no, if you no, could, who was this? Uh my name is Steve Dave. I already told you that. I just we, nah, we you call you are you pranking me or something cuz nobody fill up no uh water no basketball or no uh 24 hour fitness. Well, you did. No, you you did that. Um we, we, I'm just calling to ask you, please hey, man, hey, don't, hey, 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 hey. don't do I'm it again. Right now, man. Don't call my phone playing. I'm, no, I'm not playing. I'm, I'm just saying you're, you're being kind of a, a major motherfucker because we had to like drain that all out and there's still a little bit of water in there even after we filled it back up with air. You got this one before I was finished right now? Yes. I'll be up there. Okay, well, no, we don't need you coming up here. I'm, I'm just saying, like, please don't do it again. How do all these people remember the number of the basketball that they checked out? Like, that guy was from the 19th. Today's the 21st. The other ones were from earlier in the week. How do you remember which basketball number you checked out? That's weird. Please leave your message for... Well, Larry was the last one I could get to pick up, so I guess I am now done with this list as well. Thank you, anonymous person, for sending this to me. I'll come back to it one of these days soon and try the numbers that didn't pick up. Let's move on to the next thing. We've got a list here from MacDB. He says, RBCP, this is my second list. The first list was the one used in episode number 535 called Table Vandalism. And it was great. You almost made a girl cry. I don't remember doing that, but I do remember the Table Vandalism show. That was a lot of fun. He says he got this list of numbers from a draw drum that was carelessly left behind after a trade show, but he doesn't know what the draw was for, so they might only be good for hang up the phone calls or the mayor doesn't like you calls. I can do whatever I want with them, he says. So basically all I have here is a name and a phone number, and he was nice enough to tell me the name of the mayor in their town. That's good information to have. And he didn't tell me, like, where the trade show was located. I'm guessing he works there, and he probably doesn't want to tell me that information. But, you know, if I had that, I could be like, yeah, you were at the so-and-so convention center. Not to complain or anything. I appreciate the numbers. Hello? Hello, Jamie? Hi. Hey there, uh, this is Steve Dave from the convention center. You were at a convention over here recently. You know, we had that drawing and everything. The, the drawing, the big drawing drum. You remember, right? Were you really that 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 uh messed up that you don't remember? No, I don't get messed up. Can Can you speak up? Stop mumbling. I can't hear you. I said no. I don't get messed up, so I don't like people insinuating that I did. Okay, no, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. But do you know which convention I'm talking about? Like. You entered the drawing and everything. No, I don't know any convention I was at in Regina. Okay. Uh, are you sure you're not just like super high or something right now? Yes, I'm sure I'm not super high right now. And if this is how you're going to talk, you no, just lose my number. No, no I'm sorry. It's just we had an issue. We, there's a small issue. I just needed to ask you um, just um, if like maybe next time you're here, could you please not be such a motherfucker? Yeah, you can, you can just lose my number. Thank oh, you're, you. you're mumbling again. What was that? You can lose my number. Thank you. Okay. Well, just I'm, no, I'm, I'm. I don't want to. I don't want want you to be angry or anything. I'm just saying we have a policy against motherfuckery, and you you were being kind of a motherfucker that night. All right, that didn't work for figuring out where this place is. Lionel speaking. 
Hey, Lionel. This is uh, Steve Dave. I work with the at the mayor's office for uh, Mayor Charlie oh, Clark. Hi. hi. Uh, he wanted me to let you know that um, you've been being kind of a motherfucker around town, and just <laughs> if you could please, uh, you know, just maybe cut down on the motherfuckery. Okay, I will do that. Okay, that'd be great. We'd really appreciate it. It's just uh, you know, there's a strict policy against being a motherfucker here in town. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Are you eating? What are you eating? No, I'm not eating. <laughs> oh, I thought I heard dishware. No. All, All right. right. Well, office desk here. You what? Just at the office desk. Hey, I met you at the uh, the convention the other day. Do you remember the convention? We entered that uh, contest together. That that you know where they draw our name out of a a big drum thing and announce the winner, and you didn't win. I know. Do Do you remember that? Do Do you remember which convention that was? I don't. Well, how many convention? How many things do you go to? Not not a convention necessarily, just more like an event. Yeah, okay, lots. Uh, I, it was just recently. You, you entered your name to win. Remember? Remember? <laughs> Come on, don't be a motherfucker. <laughs> uh, I can't recall it. Well, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Sorry. It's okay. It's all right. Um, I appreciate you trying to remember at least. I'll figure it out before I get to the yeah. end of this list. Okay. Yeah, I go to tons of, or tons of events with customers. So, What kind of events do you go to? Uh, all kinds of hosting opportunities with customers. Oh, I see. I think you're probably talking about uh, something maybe at uh, Fesboro. Fesboro? Yeah. That's the name I of the. That was an event there where I was with Charlie Clark. Oh, oh yeah, Charlie. Oh yeah. yeah. You know, between me and you, Charlie's kind of a motherfucker. <laughs> okay, I'll keep that between us. Okay, all right. Uh, I got to get going. Um, I'm going to go stroke it. Okay, sounds great. All right, have a nice night. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Well, damn it, he was trying to think of an event that was related to the mayor, so the event thing that he said was probably not the right event. Oh, well. I'm Roy here. Hey, Roy? Yes. Hey, uh, th this is Charlie. Um, I was just wanting to uh, let you know that you're kind of a motherfucker and uh, hang up the damn phone. Why are you saying this? Uh, no reason, just, you know, it's just my opinion. Don't Don't take it personally. I just think that you're kind of a motherfucker, and you better hang up that phone. Oh, I think you're the same. Well, you're more of a motherfucker than me. How do you know? Because I can just tell you're you're a big motherfucker. I may be big, yeah. And a motherfucker. Well, so are you, Charlie. So what's the problem? Well, why don't you just hang up your damn phone? Why don't you hang up yours? I'm not going to hang it up. You hang it up. I ain't hanging up shit. <laughs> motherfucker. You are hung up. Yeah, well, same to you, motherfucker. No, I'm not a motherfucker at all. You take that back. Oh, no. You take it back. Look, just hang up your phone, okay? Just hang it up. I command you, hang up the phone. So do you hang up the phone? I refuse to hang up the phone. If your name is Charlie. Oh, my name's Charlie, all right. And I ain't no motherfucker. <laughs> You better just hang that phone right up. What's that, Charlie? You heard me. Did you put me on speaker? What? Yeah, I did. How come you did that? I just want everybody in the room to hear you. Okay. Hey, attention everybody in the room. Roy is a big motherfucker. <laughs> What's your last name, Charlie? I don't have to tell you that. I'm I'm not giving my last name to a motherfucker. 
<laughs> who, who is what it? What can I do for you, Charles? Who is it that you're letting hear that you're a motherfucker? Doesn't matter. Why doesn't it matter? I just want to know that. I just want to know other people that to know that there's other people in the world that are just not very smart. Are you saying that the people in the room don't matter? They're inconsequential. Oh, no, I'm saying you don't matter. Well, if I don't matter, why don't you hang up your damn phone? Why do you want me to hang up, Charlie? Because because uh, I order you to. You better hang that phone up. And who are you? And who are you? My name's order anybody around. My name's Charlie. Yeah, well, and, Chuck. And me, me being a Chuck E. Cheese, more like eh? Uh uh-uh. uh. Hey, take that back. Nobody calls me Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> I just did. You you better not do it again. Why not, Chucky? Stop it, motherfucker. <laughs> okay, you win, Charlie. Do I? Hey, I won. And he called me Charlie at the end, too, so I, I double win. I didn't get called Chuck E. Cheese again. Hi, Christine? Hello? Hello? It's hard to hear you. Oh, hi. Sorry. Just a second. I'm talking to you on my my watch, and I just need to find my phone. Oh, okay. Sorry. Get closer. One second. Oh, okay. Right one second, one second. Your watch hi. sounds like shit. Yeah, yes. Hello, who is this? Uh, oh, hi there. Uh, this is Steve Dave. I'm with uh, SaskTel. Okay. And I'm calling to let you know we're going to be changing your phone number today, tonight. Actually, we're going to change it in just a minute. This 2442 number, it's not going to work anymore. It's going to be a brand new How phone come? number. Pardon? Uh, it's going to be a brand new phone number. And what? Oh. But why is he telling you to hang up? I guess her husband heard me say the shit word. I shouldn't have done that. I ruined it. Hello, Grant. Here. Hey, Grant. This is Steve Dave from Sastel. Yes. And I'm calling to let you know we're getting ready to change your phone number. The seven zero number. We're going to be changing that. Oh, no. We're going to change it to a brand new number. Why is that? Uh, it's just a, it's an it's a high demand number. We're getting a lot of requests for it, so we're just going to free it up so someone else can have it. Oh, you're joking, right? No, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I do have your new phone no, number. No, you're joking. Oh, no, I wouldn't joke about something no, like this. No, you're joking. No, it's, it's a high demand number. No, you're not doing it. Oh, no, we have to. It's, That's too bad. It's, it's already done. No. It's, uh, no. I just, I no, got no. I got to click the button here and it, it'll be. I've, it's, I've, I have over 400 employees. I've got over 4,000 customers. I'm a high demand guy. Well, they don't all I don't call know who you. you. Who's more important than me? What's that? Well, they don't all call you, though, right? Like, seems like email would be the better way to go. Are you joking? You must be joking, right? It's like you, this, this is a joke, right? No, who no is this? I wouldn't joke about something like this. I was just trying to get you to um, understand. We, it's a high demand number. The seven. No, I'm going to phone the. I'm phoning the chair of South Tell is a very good buddy of mine. We are not doing this. Oh, we we have to call Sled, Grant Cook. No, you're not doing it. I'm telling you. No, I I, I have. You're, we're done. I've you're a, gonna lose. You're gonna lose a thousand phones. That's what you're gonna lose. No, I, so you go right ahead. We won't lose a thousand that phone numbers. Bullshit. We're just gonna. We're just I'm telling you. We're just changing the number. That's no, all. No, I'll move. I'll, I'll move my account to somebody else. I don't need to be South Town. Okay, well, How's that? look, look. You don't need to be a motherfucker How's about that, it, pal. You don't need to be a motherfucker. I'm just trying to give you your new phone number. This who, is like a standard thing. Who is you? Just swore at me. No, I didn't swear at you. I just said <laughs> okay, you're. This you're, is a joke. This is recording. This is a joke. A recording. I'm Come not a recording. On. What do you mean I'm a recording? Why are you calling me a recording? Well, because this is absurd. I can't believe this. Okay, well, it's I'm just like a joke. I'm being recorded. I'm being recorded or something. If you say so, I'm, I'm just trying to give you your new phone number. And like, if you don't have your new phone number, people it's aren't going to be able to call happen. you. It's not happening. It's Tell. it's already I'm happened. Phoning South Tell right now. Look, it's already happened. I I'm just put the, right I just now. put the work order in. It's happening. It's like going to take effect in 
w- within the next five minutes. No, it's not, pal. You're going to have... I suspect this is fraud. This is fraud. Look, I ain't your I'm pal, motherfucker. And it's not fraud. It's, it's like we own the phone numbers, so we can change... That guy thinks he's a very important person. Can't change his phone number. He actually knows people at SaskTel, apparently. Hello. Hello, is Dave Brown? Hello? Hello? Is Dave Brown? Yeah. Oh, I, I think maybe you have the wrong number. Oh, this isn't Dave's you're, number? You're... No, I'm afraid not. No uh, Dave here. Oh, they had a Dave on here, because I'm calling from SaskTel. From SaskTel. Correct, yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, this is more was my name. Okay, look, you don't need to lie to uh, me. Don't be well, a mo- what number are you calling? Don't don't be a motherfucker. I'm calling the nine four six four number. No, this is not nine four six number. You you you've got <laughs> No this is one nine four six four. No, this is nine four six four, right? Well that's that's the my number all right. Yeah. Whole day here. No, we we look. You don't need to lie to me. Um, you're you're being kind of a motherfucker, <laughs> sir. <laughs> I'm afraid not. <laughs> well, no, you got something confused here. I don't know. Like I, I, our records don't lie. Like I'm looking in the computer. Your number is registered to Dave. No, no, something wrong. Do do you get other calls for Dave? No, I haven't. This is, your, this is the first one. Okay, we're going to go ahead and change your... Oh, you say you're from Sas... You say you're from Sastel? Correct. Yeah, I'm from Sastel. We're going to go ahead and change your phone number right now. And we're going to give this one to Dave. No, no, you're not. <laughs> no, you, you, well, you can't change my number. You're not with Sastel, obviously. I'm a what? It's hard to hear you. Can you speak up? I said you're not with Sastel. Oh, no, I'm definitely with Sastel. But I'm going to change your phone number. Because uh, this one is supposed to belong to Dave. I'm going to give you a new phone number. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, yes, I am. I'm doing it right now. I'm putting the order in to have it completely changed. Okay, you, so, okay, you go ahead. You, you're, you're not with Pascal. You're going to have a new area code and everything. <laughs> Thank you. We're going to give you a number in Florida. This list came in nine days ago. So maybe it's a convention from a couple weeks ago. That's what I need to say. The convention a couple weeks ago. Hello? Dean, I'm calling about the convention from a couple weeks ago. Okay, uh, sorry, who is it? Do, do you remember the one? I, I met you at the convention. You, uh, you, submitted your, yeah, who, you submitted your name and phone number to me to put into the drum for the drawing. Do you remember? Uh, oh boy, you're going to have to remind me which one. Uh, you know, you, like how many drawings have you entered recently? It was just a couple weeks ago, <laughs> maybe three. Four, five, six, you know, not not that long ago. Well, you're you're going to have to be specific about which one. I attend lots of things. Okay. Uh, seems like everyone does. Okay. Look, I'm just calling because the, the person that owns the convention center, he wanted me to call you up and ask you if next time you're here, could you please not be such a motherfucker? Thanks for calling. What do you mean? Thanks for calling. I'm more than halfway through the list at this point, so I, I think it kind of doesn't matter where the convention was or what it was. Steve speaking. Hello, Steve. This is Roy from Sastel. Hi. Hi. Uh, we, How can I help you? Well, we were um, looking into your account because I guess they've been monitoring a lot of your phone calls, you know, just for quality assurance, and they noticed that the people you've been calling, you've been me- being kind of a motherfucker to them. And we don't allow that on our network. So what? They, they just wanted what are you me talking about. They just wanted me to give you a call and ask if, when you do use our phone network, could you please not be a motherfucker? Not for the outgoing calls, at least. Because we have. A, Who am I speaking with? Uh, my name is Roy. I'm, I'm a representative with Sasktel. We we just have a policy against that on our network. It's like a company policy. Well, I. I, I I'm taking exception to what you're what you're saying now because that has been the case. What that you have been being a motherfucker? Yeah, I, I, I'm I'm really struggling with this conversation, Roy. I'll be honest with you. 
Okay. Well, no, I'm just saying, like, in, in the future, when you make calls on your phone, um, you know, on over Sastel lines, could you please not be a motherfucker? Yeah. Can I can I speak to your boss, please? Uh, I can put Carol. Right. I can put Carol on. That's my immediate supervisor right now. Is, is her name Carol Courtney? Uh, no, it's Carol Gersberms. Okay. Do you do you need to talk to the supervisor? Because she's kind of busy. No, I want to speak to your manager, please. I don't like the way you're talking to me, making these accusations because it's not true. Uh, I wasn't trying to make accusations. I was just saying that when you're making phone calls, you're being a motherfucker. So they asked me to call you and, and ask you to please not do that. Yeah, I'm ending this call. I, I don't like this call well, at all. I can, it's, I can put Carol on. Do you want to talk to Carol? Uh, no, I, I'm done with you. Okay, Thanks, Roy. I know, but that's why I could put Carol on. Darn, I ruined the opportunity for him to talk to Carol. Hello, Aiden speaking. Hi, I was calling for Susan. Yeah, for sure. Just give me a second. All right. Hello? Hi, Susan. Speaking. Hey, uh, I'm calling from the uh, the convention hall. You were at a convention here not not too long ago. Um, you entered your number into the, the drum for a drawing and all that. Uh, what and, convention is this? Oh, man, I don't know. I just run the convention venue. But, uh, Which convention venue? Uh, the one here in Saskatoon. But look, you were you were sitting at a table, and you you used a knife and carved your name into the table. And it says no. Oh no, that was no. it. Was definitely you. It says Susan was here. Like, can you please not do nope, that? No, that's next, not my name. Next time, what do you mean it's not your name? It's right. Well, however you pronounce it, it's a weird last name. It's like a weird foreign no. name. No, where are you calling from? From from the uh, the convention. Convention office offices. I'm I'm in the office What's your uh, name? Up, up by the convention. Look, we just need you to not be a motherfucker next time you're here. Basically, can you please? Is this a prank call? No, no, I wouldn't prank call you. I'm just asking you if you could please in in the future refrain from being a How motherfucker. How did you get my number? Uh, because uh, it's here on the list. I think that you're making this up. I don't think anybody ever calling from a place of business would ever call a customer who had been there, whether they carved their name in the table or not, a motherfucker. And you also are not even using the right name of a convention center in Saskatoon. Don't call me again. Okay, look, you're being... It's got called out. Okay. I was hoping to make another girl cry since MacDB liked that so much last time. But sorry, MacDB, I just got called a lying motherfucker instead. Lori speaking. Hey, Lori, uh, this is Greg from Sasktel. And yeah. we, we um, you know, we're able to see the location of your phone and everything. We noticed you were hanging out in areas where a lot of motherfuckery takes place. And Really? Are yeah, you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Get lost. And get what? Lost. What do you mean, get freak. lost? What? Freak? Why, why would you call me a freak? Oh, my God. I don't even know where I was going with that, but she sure shut it down quick. Hello, Dave. Yes, it's uh, it's Steve. I met you at the uh, the convention a couple weeks ago. You, you uh, gave... what convention? Uh, it was one of those conventions, you know, networking, all that crap. You gave me a business card. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to let you know. I thought you were kind of a motherfucker. I'm not following your questioning. Oh, it wasn't a question. I'm just stating that you're you were kind of a motherfucker when I met you. And I'm wondering where you're going with this. Um, I just took a black sharpie and I wrote motherfucker across your business card. Okay, and how does that make you feel? Uh, better. Better about having to deal with such a motherfucker. And your purpose for calling? Uh, just to let you know that you are a motherfucker. Well, I'm sure that this is really making your day on Election Canada Day. Yeah, well, it just you makes should me... Probably be running for, you should probably be running for politics with your astute 
uh, commentary and uh, assessment of where things are at. That's a good idea. Maybe I will. I mean, not that I yeah. usually take advice from a motherfucker, but maybe. Well, maybe you should also take advice about meeting me face to face to discuss what you think you're so smart about. Oh no, I I don't think I'm s- super smart or anything. I I just think that you're a motherfucker, and I don't I don't want to meet face to face. I just no because wanna... you're a coward. Well, you're hiding you're hiding behind a phone call. Well, no, it's just that it would be a lot of effort to, you know, just go out and meet you and tell you at, at your face that you're a motherfucker. It, it's more about yeah. the, well, the you, effort. You, you, well, you'd be afraid to deal with it too because you're a coward. No, it's not that. If I ever see you at the convention again, I oh, will yeah. definitely come oh, up yeah, and you're, I'll you're, Yeah, you're you're definitely a coward. No, I'll I'll come up and I'll say hello and I'll shake your hand and I'll say I'm the one that thinks you're a motherfucker. Oh, will you now? Yeah, I, I'm sure that you'll regret that. No, like there's there's no reason to take this personally. It's just like I, it's just my oh, personal no. opinion. Oh, I'm not at all because it's because it's coming from somebody who is absolutely a coward and doesn't know what they're dealing with. I'm not trying to be a coward. I'm just saying that you're a motherfucker. I, I, like, well, you, you're not you're not like, trying. You're not trying. You are actually a coward. Do you seriously want me to drive to your house just to call you a motherfucker? That that really that'd be kind of awkward. Wouldn't it though? But it's so much easier just to make a phone call and just be done with it. Yeah, yeah. Well, then, then are you done with it? Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to call you a motherfucker. Now, now, hang up the damn phone. Okay. Oh well, you're the one who called. Yeah, well, you're the one that's going to hang up the phone. Well, I'm sure you're enjoying your call. I am. I, I mean, I feel so much better. Yeah. I got it out of my system. So, so, so this makes your world go round, right? Well, I, I wouldn't necessarily say that. I just wanted to let you know that I think you're a motherfucker. I, I like to speak my mind. But wouldn't you? Wouldn't you say that you like to speak your mind? Wouldn't you say it's rather shallow just to make a phone call to tell somebody that? No, no. I think it's brutal honesty, and it's good for you. It's character building. If if you know you're a motherfucker, maybe you'll take steps to improve. So you're welcome. And what would make you think? What would you make you think I should improve? Uh, so you wouldn't be such a motherfucker in the future. Oh, really? And and that's the extent of your conversation is you, you're limited to a couple of words? Uh, no, I've used more than a couple of words in this conversation. Very descriptor, right? Yeah, I guess. Look, just hang up the damn phone. Yeah. Hang it up. I order you oh, to hang oh, up the phone. You're, no, you're the, you're, you're the one that called. I know, but you're the one that has to hang up. No, actually, I don't. That way, I won't have you to pay for the call. On, on. Like it, it'll be a f- uh, well. You are. It, it's a way to trick the phone company. That if if you hang up, I won't have to pay for this. Right, wrong. <laughs> I just keep on the conversation. It's such an uh, enlightening, illuminating conversation. Speaking to someone like you, but don't you have something I've better to do? Don't, don't you have something better to do than? Oh, I'm I'm watching I'm watching election results while you're while you're uh, telling me how brilliant you are. No, I never claim to be brilliant. I, I'm actually uh, n- not that intelligent, believe it or not. I just um, I mm-hmm. simply wanted to call and tell you that you are a motherfucker, and hopefully that makes you feel better. And yeah, we already covered it's that really part of it. Important thing. We already covered it, that. Yeah, it's really, it's really important that you feel good. Yes, yes, I feel great now. I feel really good. I just want you to oh, hang up the phone, though. Good. Just hang up. No, I won't hang it up. I'll, I'll leave it open for you to continue the dialogue. No, I don't want to continue the dialogue. I want you to hang up. Hang up that damn phone. No, won't do it. I order you to hang up the telephone. Well, that's fine. You can, you can order all you want. Will you please You're hang the up the telephone? Made the call. You're the one who made the call. You're the one who's going to have to hang up. Oh, I'm not hanging up shit. You can't make me hang up anything. Likewise. Hello, this is Carol. I'm the SaskTel operator. Is there some sort of a problem happening here? What What the hell? Why are you on our line? I'm, I'm trying to talk to this motherfucker. Excuse me, sir. There's There's no reason for you to be talking to me like that. Can you believe this, Dave? Some some operator just popped in on the line. Oh, I believe it. 
because they're tracking your call. What, what do you want, operator? Like, why are that's you? Why, that's like, why. That's why I'm keeping this line open so they can track you. Dave, are, are you the owner of this line? Like, is there a problem? I, I don't understand what's happening here. Why was I brought in? I have no idea why you were brought in, but you should ask the caller. Okay, caller. What? Why? Well, I I don't know how he would even know. Like, I I don't understand what's going on here. Do you two need anything? I don't need anything. Dave Dave needs some help. He needs help not being a motherfucker anymore. So that was the caller. I know. I'm I'm the caller. Are you, are, you, are you able Are you able to track him? Yeah, we we see where where both of you are. Like we can tell what number the call is coming from. And going to here here at Sastel. Okay, and when you when you track the call where it's coming from, yes, the abusive language that that person is has uh, expressed, I'd like you to send the cops in to deal with it. Yeah, but the thing is, like, it, if even if it is abusive language, uh, there's not much we can do uh, if you are in fact a motherfucker. Where were you being a motherfucker? Mm. So now you've jumped into with into the caller's bed. Well, no, I, I wouldn't say I've jumped jumped into the bed. I, I just I, I'm just saying you sound like kind of a motherfucker, and if he's calling you a motherfucker, it's within his rights to call you a motherfucker for being a motherfucker. If you weren't a motherfucker, well it'd be done. a different story. Well done. Well done. The two of you are exemplary in your conduct. Okay, well, I'm just doing my job, sir. I'm just letting you know that uh, it just it seems like you're being kind of a motherfucker. Thank you, operator, for backing me up. I appreciate it. It looks like the operator is on my side, Dave. Now, I'm not on any either of your sides. I, I'm just doing my job here. Uh, if you guys don't need anything else, I can I can lo release the line. Hello? Dave? Dave, say something. Don't be a motherfucker. Hello, Dave? Dave? Dave, what happened? You're not talking. Hello, Dave. Dave, this is Carl. I work over at the, the mayor's office. Dave, hello? Dave, I'm the janitor over here at the, uh, the mayor's office. And the mayor wanted me to let you know that you're a motherfucker. Dave, how's the election going? Dave, hang up that phone. Dave. Okay, fine, I'll pay for it. I'm hanging up. I hung up. I'm not going to sit in the line if Dave's not even going to talk to me. Can't look better. Hello. Hello, Scott. Yeah. It's uh, Steve Dave from the convention center office um you, you were here at a convention a couple weeks ago um where, where are you uh the convention center office? well I'm, I'm just up in the office uh they wanted me to call you up and let you know that you were being kind of a motherfucker when you were here and just find out if maybe in the future like for other conventions you attend here could you not be such a motherfucker i don't i, I haven't been to a convention Oh no! Just, just it was a several weeks ago. We're we're just now calling you because we we've you know we've had a lot to do. But you you were just being like a, a real motherfucker. What what convention was it? What's all that noise? I hear a lot of noise. Where are you at? I'm in a bus. You're in a bus. Yeah. yeah. Can you put it on speaker? Yeah. No. Why not? Put put it on speaker real quick. No. No, I, who am I actually speaking to? Uh, my name is Steve Dave. I work here at the convention center. 
Which convention center? Uh, well, I just work in the office. I don't work in the actual convention area. It's just a. In, the in office. what city are you talking about? Regina. Regina? I haven't been to Regina for months. Oh no, it's pronounced Regina. <laughs> but but the convention took place. It didn't take place here. I just work in the office. I'm trying to explain that to you. But okay, and wh where was the convention? Look, just like all conventions, j just every convention that you go to, could you please not be such a motherfucker? Oh, I don't know that I ever was such a one, uh, one but... Uh, oh, no, you definitely were. Uh, the, we had complaints that you were being a real motherfucker. And w where was the convention? That's what I need to know. Uh, well, it doesn't matter. I just... was pretty sure I wasn't there. It's it's good rule of thumb just to not be a motherfucker ever. I don't think that I am. Right, you don't think you are, but um, like other other people were saying differently. And who would that be? Uh, just people in general. Like they didn't know you or anything. You're, you're getting hung up on the details. I'm I'm just asking you, please, please don't be a motherfucker in our convention centers. We own several convention centers in the area. In in uh, you know what in Regina I don't know what you're talking about Regina and the uh, outlying cities I, I don't go to convention yeah it, convention. it wasn't so much a convention it was more of an event what and, was the event uh, you you um, you entered a contest. In fact, that that was one of the complaints was specific to the you know you entered a drawing to try and win something. They they said you were like the the guy that was uh, running the drawing stuff. He said that you were a real motherfucker about the whole thing. Oh man, this is kind of a rude call. I, there's nothing that pertains to me. Okay, well I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just saying that you were being a real motherfucker. That's all. And. Uh, no, I don't even know what you're talking about, man. You're way off topic and way off line. No, no, I'm I'm being I'm completely on topic. I'm letting you know that you were a real motherfucker. <laughs> well, there's no so, basis behind that. I'm sorry. What's that? I said there's no basis behind that. Well, it's just a popular opinion that you were being a, a real motherfucker. At the uh, the event, and what events are you talking about? Hello, this is Carol. I'm the SaskTel operator. Uh, breaking into your call here. Uh, is this? Uh, am I speaking with uh, Scott? Yeah, you are. Yeah. Okay, Scott. We need to run yeah. a, a quick a quick test on the line. Can you put your phone on speaker? Well, I don't want to put my phone on speaker after talking to that guy. Oh, no, it's fine. I, I disconnected him. We won't say anything. We, it's just a quick test. Um, just put it no, on I'm not going to put my Put it on, on speaker. speaker. Oh, come no, on. Don't, don't, gonna... don't be a motherfucker. Who, who are you folks? I, I don't get it. No, I, I'm, I'm the SAS, I'm the SAS teleoperator. Uh, I just, uh, you know, we, we got a report that there was trouble on the line, and there was, you were using curse words, and uh, yeah, I just popped in to make sure, okay, there he goes. That was the last number on the list. Is that really where I want to end it? Was this show any good, you guys? It kind of seems like it was a real motherfucker of a show. So I'm just going to hope for the best. I'll find out when I go back to edit it, but that's going to do it for today's show. Thank you. Mac DB for sending in the list. He claims that he has another hundred numbers to send me from the same batch. And I guess these are like handwritten, you know, on a piece of paper. And he's actually typing them all out for me. So thank you for that, Mac DB. I hope I didn't disappoint you with these. Hey, Brad. It's me, John Balls Terrific. Uh, hey. hey, when are you coming to Hershey, Pennsylvania? We should have a meet up there. There's Hershey Park. Probably you never. ride roller coasters and uh, big weed and... Uh, projectiles on it at each other that sounds and uh, whoever else shows up great you know, have a fucking palooza anyway love you bb 
All right. everybody. Yeah. Listen. Okay. Bye. Everybody's awesome. Maybe in 2023, I will. I'll probably have some free time around then. Thanks for your other five voicemails. I didn't Hello, listen Brad. to them. Hello, Brad. This is DeAndre calling from Kazakhstan. Hey. Um, I think it'd be cool if you did a prank where you call up people from the homeowners association and let them know that you're participating in an exchange program where you're each person's required to have one Syrian refugee stay with them for a month. And if they don't do it, they'll be fined. Okay. And also, I, want to I play totally some. didn't do that several years ago. What is happening? Oh, geez. What is this? All right. Thank you. Have a nice day. Guitar. That was great. Good job. Hey, Brad. It's Dan from Minnesota. Hey, Dan. Uh, I've been listening for a few years, and I just wanted to say I really love what you're doing. Um, Thanks, you know, Dan. You, you really make me smile a lot, make me laugh a lot. It's a good time. Just became a Patreon. I uh, hope everybody else does that, Cactus Cactus. Um, also, I wanted to ask, um, how do you determine meetup locations, and would you consider doing a meetup in Minneapolis? Question mark. Okay. Thanks, Brad. Keep up the good work. Cactus, cactus, cactus. Well, the Chicago meetup was not my idea. Actually, none of the meetups have been my idea except for Portland. In Chicago, I just wanted to go up and see Laugh Track Matt. It was just going to be a me visiting Laugh Track Matt thing. And then Giad got word of that. And he's like, oh, hey, Brad, I'm going to come up too. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. Next thing I know, Giad's inviting the entire world to come and hang out with me and Laugh Track Matt. And that's how the Chicago thing happened two years in a row. And then soon after that, I think it was Laugh Track Matt that decided on San Jose. Was that, is that right? I don't know why Laugh Track Matt would want to go to San Jose, but I think that's what happened. Maybe just because Nick Caesar was nearby. But now we've got San Jose happening again in 2020. I still don't know if I'm going to be there, but Dwight's going to be there and a bunch of other people are going to be there that were there last year. So I'm going to do my best to go to that again. And it's hard for me to get out of the state of Oregon right now because I'm on probation. I got in trouble a couple of years ago for doing prank calls and I'm now on federal probation. I have to get permission to leave the state, which makes it kind of difficult for me to plan meetups outside of the state of Oregon. So I can never guarantee that I'm going to be anywhere. But after my probation is over, starting in late 2022, I think I might just drive around the country and do a bunch of impromptu meetups. I've been wanting to do that for years, and now I can't. Yo, what's up, Brad? Um, you know what? In fact, we did a show last night. Um, you don't I did say. a lot of prank calls and shit like that. So, um, yeah, I'm just telling you, bro. Okay, thanks. I posted that fucking shit on um, the Facebook page. Whoever the and- fuck you are. The, 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 the whole oh, it must be the dead, of course. Okay, look at the dead. Just assuming everyone's gonna know who the fuck he is. It fucking posted too. So you know, it was the dead and a some show. So you know, it it's cool though. It was cool. We had a lot of fun. Are you um, sure it was cool? I mean, we're gonna come do on. it some more too. Um. Episode 2 is probably going to come out sometime next week. So, yeah. Okay, bye. Okay, the dead. He has apparently posted a show. I remember seeing that posted in the PLA group. Hey, Brad. It's Gloria. Oh, hey, I know Gloria. I forever. I'm sorry, but I'm back, and I'm going to be listening, like, all the time. And You're I'm always back. And I'm going to be voicemail, so the wrath of... You're time. always leaving and then coming back. Yeah, it's back. And um, I hope you got the picture I drew. It's man and i'm gonna start doing some cool like drawings like this um you know stepping it up for my old drawings for sure but i was thinking of a good idea that you should do for a call and i was thinking you should pit a neighborhood against each other find a neighborhood go on white pages just like call one house and say you're calling from another house and be like did you hear about so-and-so down the street and like make everyone mad at each other like just start neighborhood drama like i don't know maybe say like one of the neighbors is a nazi or something i don't yeah. know get some you people would... to shoot each other that'd be awesome but i love you Tampa bad and i'll be leaving a bunch of like mails and yeah hope to see you at christmas um lovingly your granddaughter gloria google voice says that your name is oreo not gloria just so you know 
But yeah, let's get a whole homeowners association all pissed off at each other. Maybe they'll kill each other. It'll be like that movie Needful Things. Best idea ever. Thanks, Gloria. Hi, Brad. Mike calling you from Belize. Hey, Mike. I was listening, listening to some of your previous recording on one question you asked a caller who left a message. He told her he was in jail and he's now out on provision, on a parole rather. And you asked him why his phone call, you wondered why his phone call was so fucked up and gargled. Well, the reason why is because he have people he's dropping on his call. Remember why he's oh. a police, same like you. And then another question, in your show you ask the question, I you wonder it. why people don't want garbage truck in front of their houses. Well, I will ask you a question and this will answer your question. What have six wheels and flies? I the answer, a garbage up. truck. Oh. It's strength, <laughs> it's thinking, it's flies. What has two <laughs> wheels and flies? The supervisor following the garbage truck. Bye, Brad. Say hi to King Richard. Bye. Hi. Greetings from Belize. Hi, King Mike Richard. Belize. Oh. King Richard, Mike says hi. Hi, Brad. But hey. Matt, the manager here. Oh, hey, Matt. I wanted to compliment you on your latest show, Cross the Lines or Cross Cactus or whatever the fuck that was. It was amazing. I loved it. Thank you. I especially love the uh, the enhance enhance kind of uh, CSI shit you're pulling with that guy who's in the background telling his wife to shut the fuck up. That was fantastic. Um, I know you love suggestions, but the only suggestion the I would like to make is just to make it sound a little bit more believable. Maybe having your own personal soundboard where you can be like, "Are there two people on the line? This is crazy. What's going on here?" So you could overlap with uh, Carol. And make it sound more like there are two actual people there. But you're doing a fantastic job with that. It's very believable. Thank you. Amazing. Um, that's all. And P.S. Micro Corgi. Keep your fucking name, Micro Corgi. It's an amazing name. It's a it really name. is. I love it. Come on. Right. Bye. I've never known anyone else to be named Micro Corgi, but, you know, whatever. Hey, Brad. It's Barcode. Heard you mention on the show a couple of days ago about the Breaking Bad movie, how much you're excited for it. Just want to see what you thought of it, man. I enjoyed it pretty good myself. Just yeah. want to see what your thoughts on it were. Is all right. I'm pretty sure you'll have a few voicemails asking you that. Uh, fuck that. All right, bye. No, I think you're the only person to ask me that. I thought it was okay. It was just like watching another episode of Breaking Bad. It didn't really seem movie worthy. It's just more like another episode of Breaking Bad. But that's okay. I enjoyed it. It was fun to watch. I couldn't believe that Aunt Marie actually murdered somebody, and Walt Jr. does meth now. That's crazy. I didn't know they were going to go in that direction, but good stuff. I highly recommend it to anyone that's into Breaking Bad. I've still got tons of voicemails, but fuck it. I need to get to sleep. It's getting late. As I'm recording this right now, it's 1030 at night. I don't think I'm going to get the show out tonight, so that kind of sucks. Maybe I will. I don't know if I have it in me to stay up too much longer. I hope you all enjoyed it, though. I had fun doing it. Thank you to the sponsors of today's show, like Dirty Syringe and JT, high school graduate Chris J, and The Real Crazy Kraz. If you'd like to support the show and get extra shows every single week, it's really easy to do. Just go to patreon.com slash phone losers and sign up. I'm going to end today's show with a song that was posted on the PLA Facebook group by Bill. This is a cover of the Telephone Line song, originally done by ELO. This is Puddle's Pity Party. You know, the weird clown guy. Thank you for posting this, Bill. This is pretty good. Hello. How are you? Bob Murphy. 